I'm Jordan Belfort, and this is Sales School. All right, short message from my number one sponsor, NetSuite. Here's the deal. If you're a business owner, you don't need them, NetSuite, to tell you it's tough to run a business because it is, right? We all know that. Don't let QuickBooks and spreadsheets slow you down anymore. Now is the time to upgrade to NetSuite by Oracle. They're the world's number one cloud-based business system. They give you the visibility and control of your financials, HR, inventory, e-commerce, and more. You want to join over 24,000 companies using NetSuite right now. So schedule a free product tour now at netsuite.com slash school. That's netsuite.com slash school. For those of you not on certification, oh my God, get on it. You're crazy. All right. It's ridiculous. We just opened up the card again. Come on. Anyhow, great motivation for today. Great lesson skills, right? In 2010, I did a seminar in Australia, right? And I got pitched the stupidest idea in the history of ideas. It was some guy, I think it was Russian, right? And he comes up, runs on stage after I just gone through the whole training on space invaders and not invading the space bubble, staying two and a half to three feet, right? And the guy breaks the bubble, Starts with the spit. Oh, it's like so gross, right? Anyway, he starts pitching me. He goes, Ball, but one is borders. I, 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 I have this, this invention. It's going to revolutionize going to the bathroom. It is called Express Lou. I'm like backing up. The guy's chasing me. He goes, hey, What's Express Lou? He goes, This is Porta Potty for five year olds. I'm like, What? He goes, Yes, watch. He pulls this thing out. He's like, This big bag. He goes, Look, watch. This is great. It's a wooden thing with a toilet seat. He goes, you open up front door of car, back door of car, your child pulls pads down and makes crap on side of... He goes, I have my daughter out, she'll do them. I'm whoa, I'm like, stop, pal. Anyway, the guy had the stupidest idea in the world, right? But here's the deal. Even if it was the world's greatest idea, it was done before it started. The guy got into my space bubble, and by the way, he chased down my manager, the tour promoter, everybody, and kept going in their face. Everyone's like, what is wrong with this guy, Boris? Now, understand this, okay? That bubble of two and a half to three feet, when you invade it, people will not listen to what you have to say. They will literally back off and you do it this like almost chasing dance around, all right? So you gotta be really aware of this. There's these close standards out there. If that's you, you just gotta be aware and stop it. Stop. You can't get into rapport, people, when you're that close. I'm telling you, it's just toxic. And I, as I said in the intro to this module, death by a thousand cuts. Mistake, mistake, mistake. Before you know you're bleeding out and it's over before it started. You get it? The key here is in the Western world, remember, two and a half to three feet. And when you're in Asia, it's closer. That's why sometimes when you go to Asia, you feel weird, but to them it's normal. But only by six inches. That's an important six inches. They might be two feet apart there. One point I didn't raise in the um, training was the formal bow, okay? Because bows are very special thing in the sense that they differ from country to country. How you bow in Japan is different than how you bow in China, how you bow in Korea. One point, all right, I'm going to include this, this some articles and links in the resource center. There's a very specialized thing here, right? And I'm not an expert, I admit. But here's one thing I do know. What you never want to do is both bow and shake hands. One or the other. And the bottom line is unless you're in the most formal of settings, Almost every single person of substance in that part of the world will accept a handshake, a cooperator's handshake, and be fine with it. Unless you're going to some sort of like, you know, um, you know, royalty or old line empress sort of stuff, right? You get it? So a, a handshake will get you through. But what you don't do is do the handshake and that formal bow. That's a big mistake, right? It's so a handshake, hand your car with two hands. That's their custom over there, okay? One more point. Remember. There are fundamental differences here between how a man approaches a man and a man approaches a woman. Cornering off if you're a man, you don't want to be directly in front. Women, head on, when you, man to woman, hands above waist level. In the end, it's basic stuff. The key is, 
is you have to apply it actively, consciously. In the beginning, whatever patterns you've laid down that are incorrect, the only way to break those patterns is to consciously, for the next few days, the next in the weeks that come after, consciously apply what I'm teaching you. I promise it won't take long to rewire your brain to do this stuff right. I've been saying it every day this week. This is the easiest stuff for you to master. Body language is not difficult. There's this good enough factor. A little bit goes a long way. Remember what you've learned. And as I said, this is that week when we're doubling down on everything, doubling down on our efforts, our number of dials, our door knocks, our, our focus on tonality, body language, obeying every rule you've learned so far. Remember, we're about to start getting practical into the practical application with prospecting and scripting and looping. All right, so build on these competencies. All right, make this an awesome week, guys. You're halfway there, a little bit more. I'll speak again tomorrow. Take care.